हेलो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर स्ट्रीमिंग दिल बी आर लैग ऑफ सम सेकेंड्स वी जस्ट हैव टू वेट एंड सी कैन ऑल ऑफ यूर मी कैन ऑल ऑफ यू सी मी कैन आई आर वी लाइव आर वी लाइव हेलो 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 दो इन द चैट बॉक्स कैन गिव मे थम्स अप मैसेज इफ वी आर लाइव येस कैन आई इफ ऑल ऑफ यू दोज वेर कैन यू Hello, hello, hello. Hi, yes, all of you, those who are there. Can you? Yes. So we are uh, live. Uh, we are live. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hi, yes, all of you, those who are there. Yes. So can I? Can you just? Can you in the chat box just send me a message? Uh, like if you, if I'm audible and visible to all, is the audio video all clear? Can somebody in the chat box please type something so that we know that the chat functionality is also working? Uh, welcome to our session. These are some of the uh, high yield uh, MCQs for the upcoming uh, NEET PG as well as FMG examination. So just uh, before uh, we start the session, just a couple of things. uh so uh yes all of you can please download the an academy app lots of features are there and this is a very very important extra 20% of you are getting till 26th of august okay and the promo code is mentor m e n t o r this is a very very good discount if you see for iconic subscription uh yes very good thank you gumin uh, jirag uh, for telling me the audio and video working well perfect excellent okay so you can see the iconic subscription available at a huge discounted price and the best thing is also about the plus subscription which you require if you see even your one year package is very extremely 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 good and depending on your requirement you can go for two years or even nine months or six months or 18 months subscription the code is the same mentor so please make the maximum use of it all the best teachers are there okay when the recorded class is coming very soon uh, so this is the use the code and 20% off extra till 26th august okay lectures can be seen any time anywhere okay this is the integrated need pg batch starting from 25th august all of the best teachers are there and uh, i will be taking the obgy also on this uh, with this and all the other teachers bring the various subjects uh, you can see the name of the uh, faculty okay yes uh, moving ahead uh, we are uh, having this neat pg integrated system wise batch full fledged coverage 25th august for 5 months duration so roughly the these are the things and then the images and previous questions will also be included okay and the question bank 2.0 is coming very very soon it has got brand new questions clinical cases images detailed answer and a uh, perform okay so you can subscribe now and mentor m e n t o r mentor remains the code okay so i hope that is uh, enough that is a good amount of information for you and 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 now let us start our uh, discussion session just before we begin uh, one very important point tomorrow also okay tomorrow evening same time same place tomorrow also today is also 6 to 6:30 class and tomorrow is a thursday okay so thursday okay and thursday 25th august okay today is thursday 25th august i invite all of you for a complete free class on youtube okay is it clear to all of you so it is a completely free session it's going to be on youtube in the same channel okay so i request all of you uh, to yes i request all of you aman modi good evening dr shweta anand good evening okay so i request all of you uh, to attend tomorrow also okay so tomorrow also uh, please come all of you know the plus classes features any time anywhere best educator downloadable pptes any device and your uh, printed notes also coming soon okay iconic subscriptions available you have all the features and let us now start the uh, session with the first question of the day and that is yes give your take your time second gravida pregnant patient that means a lady is pregnant for the second time okay all of you tell me the answers she has a history of delivering twins in the past matlab in the previous pregnancy 
वॉट विल यू कॉल हर नाव हाउ विल यू गिव हर लेबल हर जी टू पी वन जी टू पी टू जी थ्री पी वन जी थ्री पी टू वॉट इट इज ओके सो शी इज प्रेगनेंट बिकॉज शी हैड ट्विंस इन द पास्ट ओके इंडियन शिवम त्यागी अमन राना एक्सेलेंट ऑल ऑफ सो आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू आंसर येस वेरी गुड ओके सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट ग्रेविडा वी यूज द सिस्टम जी पी एल ए ओके द सिस्टम यूज इज ग्रेविडा पैरिटी लिविंग एंड अबॉर्शन ओके दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ टाइम द लेडी इज प्रेगनेंट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द प्रीवियस ट्विंस मेनी स्टूडेंट फील इट्स अर फर्स्ट टाइम ट्विंस सो फर्स्ट टाइम वन एंड टू बेबीज एंड नाउ शी pregnant again so it becomes g3 no that is not the thing okay absolutely yes all of you super all of you correct uh, dhananjay benedict uh, shraddha ranu all of you excellent okay excellent so sir since she is pregnant for the second time she becomes g2 okay and again remember so if a lady has one baby in the past then she is called as g g2 p1 l1 what does this mean that sir the lady is pregnant for the second time and previous one delivery it could but and it's a live baby whether it is a term preterm that it's a live baby whether it was normal cesarean that we don't know okay so g2 p1 and one and again remember the twins history of twins in the previous pregnancy does not even affect the parity also but only thing of course the living will change so this patient g2 p1 l2 this has to tell you this will tell you that sir she is pregnant for the first a uh, second time pregnant for the second time first one delivery but two live births so it has to tell you it is automatically twins is it clear to all of you yes so very good now can anybody tell me just a simple answer in the chat box if i tell you patient is g2 p1 l3 what does it mean chalo what does it mean all of you yes all clear yes anybody any what does it mean g2 p1 l3 will mean what type in the chat box all of you yes absolutely correct priyanshi sejpal is the first to answer that sir it means that with one pregnancy but three babies so it means previous triplets okay so previous triplets so example all of you know farah khan okay om shanti om there farah khan is triplet so now farah khan if she becomes pregnant again it she will be called a g2 p1 l3 okay so that is previous triplets like that okay so again g and p will not change and this lady so she is so now this question is the answer g2 p1 l2 this lady after delivery will be called as p2 l3 okay is it clear to all of you p2 l3 okay g2 p1 l2 because she has got or we are assuming that the both twins in the past both babies are living or then depends on what okay excellent so this concept has to be clear uh, let's moving on uh, to the next question for the day yes again a very very important clinical based question we have got 35 year old lady a menorrhea since her delivery she could also be lactation no matter history of blood transfusion after delivery why was blood given to her you have to think put on your thinking caps failure to lactate and persistence of a menorrhea what do you think is our diagnosis okay yes so please pay attention premature ovarian failure anybody how do i define premature ovarian failure menopause happening before 40 okay when the menopause happens before 40 that is premature menopause so we explaining you all the options in that yes there will be a menorrhea but why should there be failure to lactate failure to lactate is again one of the very important clue kalman syndrome is what anybody anybody what is kalman syndrome what is kalman syndrome what do we get in that any idea what do we get in kalman syndrome kalman syndrome is g n r h deficiency so gonadotropin releasing hormone deficiency along with anosmia sense of smell is affected okay so please keep all this mcqs in mind yes okay Uh, no, beta. Aman Modi, uterus is affected after D after DNC. Anybody? Aman Modi, uterus affected after DNC. That is Asherman syndrome. 
okay is it clear to all of you where you get postpartum where you, if specifically there is intrauterine adhesions okay that is asherman so don't make a mistake okay that is intrauterine adhesions asherman syndrome okay yes if there are been multiple repeated very good the answer over here is option number b shihan syndrome is nothing but postpartum pituitary necrosis and okay and that is the reason all the pituitary gland hormones get affected and if the pituitary gland is damaged pituitary gland is fire what will happen prolactin will not come so that gives explains to you the failure to lactate part and of course since after pituitary is damaged even fsh lh will not happen so there is going to be no fsh no lh follicles will not grow no h no ovulation so that will cause amenorrhea so fsh lh destroyed that is or not that that causes amenorrhea prolactin destroyed that causes failure to lactate is this understood to all of you yes it is uh, and yes the blood transfusion when there is a massive pph so you have to assume okay this postpartum pituitary necrosis the secondary to pph okay that is shihan syndrome and that's the reason that why blood was given so it's assumption sir so sir there would be pph blood was given to this lady and this is there okay is it clear to all of you yes so let us move on nothing much to discuss over here so the very very important mcq okay yes let's go to the next question yes very very important this was one of the identify the image what imaging modality this is a hystero salpingography hsg hysterosalpingography image is shown to you and is it a bilateral coronal block bicornal normal asherman unicorn yes so all of you excellent okay dhananjay i'll not get time to take care of sananjay samriti sibinet aman excellent okay rana mist uh, rana ram excellent okay so okay so this is if you see okay so let us first see why it is not a normal hsg why anybody normal hsg triangle cavity normal hsg triangle cavity both the tubes nice bouncy wavy tubes you should see and we should see the spill of the dye this is called as the spill of the dye this tells you you put in a dye okay so this is the normal hsg anybody what will i get what will i get in asherman syndrome how will i make the diagnosis of asherman syndrome anybody asherman syndrome how do we get so asherman syndrome you are this exactly are we going to get this i just told you we are going to get this so what will this give rise to sir asherman syndrome is intra uterine adhesions the dye will not so we are going to get anybody what is the typical multiple filling defects is this understood to all of you so multiple filling defects inside the yes very good miss that is the asherman syndrome so that's not over you don't see any filling defect over here but what is happening you clearly see it's a only one horn yes like this kind of the picture we are seeing or like a banana shaped uterus or like this are only one side exactly this picture so one uni cornuate uterus uni cornuate uterus one half of the horn yes if you pay close attention even the fallopian tube okay so this is the uterine cavity and this is also the fallopian tube and even the spill as you can see okay because the normal uterus please pay normal uterus should have been a triangle cavity so uh, we are getting uh, anemia okay i don't understand what you mean yeah okay so and anybody what is the what is the unicornuate uterus ka complication what can happen what are the complications which can happen with a unicornuate uterus what are the obstetric complications or what can happen yes anybody unicornuate uterus what all two three things we should know so we can get mal presentations specifically like we can get breach 
okay we can get mal presentations yes infertility rarely and dr benedict very good the cervix will open up early so prematurity also yes definitely very good and remember one important yes aman modi very good but you need to specify beta aman modi very good. abortion in the second trimester or first trimester aman modi abortion correct so remember second trimester abortion why second trimester abortion because these are whenever there is a mullerian anomaly there could be associated cervical incom it's just a association okay keep in mind all mullerian anomalies are associated with like example your bicornuate unicornuate so cervical incompetence is known to be a association this is not a bilateral cornual block okay bilateral cornual block you will only see like this okay if only a triangle is seen if only a triangle is seen and the dye is not entering the tube at all that you call it as bilateral cornual block okay and bicornuate uterus all of you know we are going to see two horns okay one and two okay two horns will be seen wide apart that is the bicorn so with one image we have shown you four to five okay all the different images we've shown you this is a simple answer this was also there the last year exam Uh, and again likely to be repeated unicornuate uterus yes but the septate will be acute angle yes okay so sub this is the wide angle wide angle will be a bicornuate okay obtuse angle yes let us yes now what is this for clue give your so this is they'll give you a clue this is a transvaginal sonography of the uterus okay uterus is in because this curve you see it's a transvaginal sonography of the uterus and what is the again a image based mcq version of your future examination okay they have labeled it as endometrium this part is labeled as myometrium and we can see some things over here endometrium if you see is okay endometrium if you see is okay this is given for your clue otherwise it becomes a very difficult pg level so anybody yes very good now don't confuse this this is one image all of you we come back to this in a minute and what is this image now identify again we are telling you it is a ultrasonography of the uterus okay this is the entire uterus this is the entire uterus and what do we see over here i want the diagnosis first yes excellent very good so this is this is what okay so here what we are seeing is and if this is the uterus very good excellent here what we are seeing we are seeing mult yes this okay i will have to just use on just a second yes so here what we are seeing one two coming as a brighter image can you see all this can you see all this yes multiple fluid filled grapes like vesicle so this is the snow storm appearance okay so what is this okay is this a complete mole or a partial mole snow storm so this is the typical snow storm appearance okay and very good what is the management i am never supposed to induce labor why we are not supposed to induce labor because it is not a well from preg it is not a well from pregnancy what will happen is part of the grapes will be expelled out part will remain inside lot of bleeding of course you are not supposed to give lscs and you are not supposed to give ocipels the answer is suction evacuation and very good this is a complete mole because you are not seeing any any fetal tissue so it's a complete mole if you see some fetal tissue along with it okay so if you see some of the baby parts like this okay and then you see snow storm then this is partial mole partial and anybody what is the karyotype what is the karyotype chalo 
so the answer to this is snowstorm appearance very famous this mcq is definitely going to come snowstorm appearance and the answer is suction evacuation whatever may the size of the uterus i want the answer uh, karyotype of partial mole and complete mole what is the karyotype so with one mcq very good missed yeah 60 okay so partial mole is always triploid 69 complete mole is 46 xx most common followed by even xy but 46 okay so this is important okay and partial mole is always triploid now what is the diagnosis over here this is adeno we are coming back to the previous mcq so just all of you please pay attention where i want you to focus is that here sir the endometrium is okay the endometrium myometrium junction is fuzzy that's slightly difficult but all this what we are seeing all this part what we are seeing is within the myometrium so the difference is the difference is for all of you to see that this is the uterus and this cystic glands endometrium is gland so what is this and what is this okay anybody which is which image so please keep this in mind this is our adenomyosis okay multiple glands okay glands are scattered throughout the so can everybody understand the difference yes that's a that is the reason why the reason is that you are supposed to understand this and this is the vesicular mole this is the snowstorm okay is this understood to all of you okay so please understand the difference okay is this clear to all of you yes so here there are glands within the the endometrium is okay and the endometrium myometrial junction may be junctional zone may be affected and basically the glands have invaded into the myometrium that is the adenomyosis and here multiple fluid fill cystic spaces within this and here you have to go and suck out the pregnancy okay is this clear to all of you yes so please don't make a mistake I again repeat this is not a vesicular mole endometriosis you require laparoscopy endometriosis to make the diagnosis i require to do laparoscopy is it clear to all of you yes fibroid is going to be hypoechoic you will see a hypoechoic growth okay and clearly this is the snowstorm appearance where i have to go and this okay yes is it clear to all of you yes so now please pay attention yes moving on to the next question yes this was again the past previous year question a patient has recurrent abortions okay recurrent abortions 8 weeks 11 weeks and early onset preeclampsia in the next pregnancy also which of the following is the most probable cause as well as can anybody tell me the treatment for this condition what is the treatment for this condition excellent okay very good so please understand this that anybody when does gestational diabetes develop let us start one anybody why is it not gestational diabetes why is it not gestational diabetes because gestational diabetes will gestational diabetes have abortion can gestational diabetes cause abortion yes or no first trimester what is the abortion we have patient has got abortion in the first trimester t1 yes or no yes patient has got a first trimester abortion ka history very good dhananjay dr zai uh, safi either excellent miss okay so gdm is likely to develop between 24 to 28 weeks so gdm can never cause abortion in the first trimester yes preeclampsia patient may develop with gdm uh, associated but never never because gdm will develop only at 24 to 28 weeks please keep that in mind okay is it clear torch will again never cause repeated abortion that is out and cervical incompetence i just now told you will cause abortion in the second trimester t2 t2 so the answer is 
antiphospholipid antibody syndrome which can cause the following complication it can cause abortions anybody severe early onset pe pe i am writing is pre eclampsia anybody tell me two so these two are already given to you pre eclampsia and abortion what else tell i want more manifestations one two third iufd sudden iufd can happen what else severe iugr can also happen all this is because the blood supply to the baby gets affected and lastly even abruption so i want all of you to keep this five complications perfectly all of you to remember yes abortions preeclampsia iugr iufd abruption and rightly told by all of you the treatment is heparin and aspirin okay normal heparin also can be given that is in fact or low molecular weight heparin today slightly preferred okay so lmw is low molecular weight heparin plus aspirin aspirin you give in the dose of 75 to 150 mg okay doses will not be asked to you but that's okay so all this when you give we can prevent yes and oxaparin is dr mankar that's a this one is correct low molecular weight heparin is preferred 40 60 depending on this and this you start right throughout pregnancies and this abortion can be prevented in this patient okay is it clear to all of you yes a simple mcq spot diagnosis what is the this okay this is the dermatology but it can also come something is given to you a lady is shown to you and what is this most likely to be seen with anybody very very simple mcq yes so what is this all of you what is this this is black velvety patches of skin acanthosis nigricans acanthosis nigricans is the diagnosis and this is what it is a marker for insulin resistance it is telling you insulin resistance so it is likely to be seen not of course not all of the above it will be seen with a patient of pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome that is this typical well any other place nape of the neck where else can we get yes excellent rana and safi that sir this is also a symbol that this is a marker for metabolic syndrome metabolic syndrome or we also call it as syndrome x okay it's called it as metabolic syndrome or syndrome x where you get other thing is you get it in the nape of the neck as well as axilla okay so in the nape of the neck and the axilla also you can get this okay uh, black velvety patches of skin present in the axilla and it is a marker it is a metabolic syndrome x where they can get uh, uh, complications like uh, hypertension and hyperlipidemia and insulin resistance and of course diabetes and even coronary artery disease and all this complications okay so uh, these are the yes diabetes also these patients get and this okay so this is a very very uh, important mcq uh, which could be asked to you okay simple acanthosis nigricans and let us we'll have time for one more yes again a very very important mcq 16 year old girl primary amenorrhea we don't need i will continue okay well developed breast well developed axillary and pubic hair most likely ultrasonography finding will be what okay so primary amenorrhea start thinking start thinking anybody which condition will we get streak ovaries and a hypoplastic uterus anybody which condition do i get option b option b is streak ovaries all of you know streak ovaries is seen in turner syndrome yes in turner syndrome excellent all of you so and you never get streak ovaries and absent uterus no so that is not possible anywhere so option c is not possible in whole of obgy streak ovaries is always associated with a hypoplastic uterus that is turner syndrome in turner syndrome there will be not be well developed breast okay turner syndrome breast will not be well developed 
breast will not be well developed okay breading cross 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 so here since there is well developed breast estrogen stimulation is coming so what is it yes and well developed axillary pubicus so what's your diagnosis anybody what is this diagnosis sir so diagnosis of this patient is very good rameshwar this is yes aman modi this is rmk also called as mullerian agenesis so where we will get absent uterus and normal ovaries okay so in rmk syndrome the breast is very well developed as well as axillary and pubic hair is also very well present and this will come to us with primary amenorrhea with absent uterus so we will get but important point is normal ovary is this understood ovaries are normal so estrogen will happen okay the in 45 xo i said this is 45 xo the breast is not well developed the shield shaped chest breast is not well developed okay so this is the absent uterus normal ovaries that is the first answer absent uterus undistended testes is which one complete androgen insensitivity syndrome okay complete androgen insensitivity syndrome so all where but there will be absence of axillary and pubic hair is it clear to all of you yes so i hope all of you had a great time today this are some of the very very important mcqs which we discussed and tomorrow evening okay i want again tomorrow same time 6 to 6:30 pm we are going to meet again it's going to be on youtube okay youtube that is tomorrow 24th of august uh, today sorry tomorrow today is 24 tomorrow 25th okay so 25th august all of you 25th august and all of you can come in uh tomorrow where some of the similar thing more uh, some of the clinical in will give a mixed bag some gynec mcq some obstetric mcq and your mixed bag and images so till that time best of luck study well and enroll if you have not already enrolled log in as soon as possible download the an academy app and use the code mentor to get the maximum possible discount which is the highest discount going on right now which is 20% okay so bye bye best of luck thank you very much and i'll see you tomorrow evening at the same time 6 pm till then best of luck thank you very much